How much money have you made in total since joining the academy in deal selling? I think like around 30,000. 30, 30,000? 30, yeah, around so 30 to 40,000. In just two months, have you made your money back yet? Yes, on the, I think, first two weeks. Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds. I'm about to introduce you to a very, very special lady from Vietnam. Her name is Naomi, and she's recently joined the Property Investors Academy. She's absolutely smashing it in property here in London. Naomi, thank you so much for coming to my house. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for inviting me uh, here today. Yeah, it's so lovely in a big view. Yeah, thank you very much. So when we met, you have uh, you're, you're an established business business lady. You've got successful businesses in different different parts of of the world. What was it that made you come to the UK and specifically wanting to do property? Like, what was it that brought you here? Do you know, like property? Do you know my my grandparents, my parents do property before. So I know like with property, we always got passive income and we got capital appreciation. Um, before, I always earn the money from different business. After that, I put in the property because I know it's the best thing. Yeah. Yes, so I, I watched a lot of YouTube about you and I said like, uh, instantly I bought one uh, franchise in estate agent called ZMAX in my company ZMAX Pro. So I said like, oh, I, I, I watched a lot of YouTube and I found you and I said, do you know, special day I using my birthday. My father said, what do you want to do for my birthday? So my birthday, and said like, I want to go cross court and meet some Liz. <laughs> yeah, and that is a day I, I meet you and the day I'm stick, stick with Academy. <laughs> Amazing, so you came to the Property Investors Crash Course. This was around, was this about? 17th of September. You know the exact date? Because it's my birthday. Of course. <laughs> So 17th of September, so you came to the Property Investors Crash Course. How long have you been living in the UK? Um, yeah, I've been living in the UK quite long. Yeah. Yes, from 2011. Okay, so, cool. Yes, so I, um, before that, I live in Singapore. Right. Yeah. But you're an, originally from Vietnam. Yeah, as you know, from Vietnam. And you've got companies in different countries as well. So you've been a successful business, uh, business owner. And I, we, we hit it off straight away because you, you're a business savvy lady, you've got really good energy. And um, what was it that made you come to the UK in the first place? Was it to invest in property or did you come for another reason? Um, actually, I study in my uni in Singapore. And um, I also do, do a bit of business in even property and everything in Singapore. Yeah, so um, my husband in UK, <laughs> yeah, he, he studied, um, this time he studied, uh, I think this time he studied master in Cambridge University. Yeah, so yeah, because my husband here, is that's why I said the reason I came here. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. So you came here for love, and then, and, then, and then when did you start buying properties in the UK? 2018. 2018? Yes, so, my first house is 2018. So talk to me about your first property purchase. Actually, like, um, I'm helping a lot of people buy the house because uh, I tell a bit about my background. I'm education consultant. Uh, I graduate in MSc in Entrepreneurship in, uh, in Surge University. So like entrepreneurship is helping start the visit from start to the end. Yes, so um, I also education consultant. I'm helping a lot of students from overseas, like Vietnam, Thailand, Hong Kong, Dubai, came to UK to study. And helping them like quite young, from six years old, until like study master and PhD and go to the Oxford and Cambridge. You know, yeah. with our Asian to go to study top university is very important with the parent. Yes, so like I, I got a lot of like um, yeah a lot of my parent and a lot of investors really want to buy the house and everything. So I said yeah with my husband he like lecture and like he in academic side he doesn't want to buy a house. Even he tell me like no. I said of course I will buy my first house with mortgage. And he tell me like no, don't buy the house with mortgage. Do you know like and I said like. So instead of rent, we can buy it and we don't need to pay rent. And he said, no. And, and like, you know, even my bad partner, yeah, my partner, visit partner, he told me like, okay, we need one. I bought it, how, first how is 385,000. And he told me like, okay, uh, I like around 150,000 uh, for mortgage. He told me like, okay, I got 150,000. You don't need to get mortgage. Uh, pay for it. And I so I don't want to take that money. I get mortgage. Right. Yeah, so I think the mindset everyone said like they, they want to prepare all the full money when they buy it. Yes. They never think about and they said we calculate how much the insured the mortgage. Yeah. Uh, even the cheaper than you pay for the rent. But you know what though buying a house for cash in London 
is very, very difficult. And houses are very expensive. And especially, you know, most people, uh, you know, that might be making 25, 30,000 pounds a year, to be able to save up to buy a house is, is very, very hard. So talk to me about the change of mindset you had then about buying houses for cash and buying houses with mortgage. Do you know, like, I think like, um, after like, I, do you know, like I, until now, I have around 1,000 people buy the house. 1,000 house already, That's until they come. Like uh, estate agent and other one, I have paying. Because I've got accountant business. My accountant business, we got around 500 small business, you know, like some new shop, a restaurant, takeaway shop, even the, like some property business. So do you know the way, like, I know like about them and they want to buy the house, they need support from me. Like they to find the deal, you know? Yes. They want to find the best house with BMV, 20%. 20% or even they buy the house with good location. Yeah, so like um, I helping them to buy the house. So I know how it, so actually based on my experience and I can give them what is the best price, what yeah. the best location and what is the best deal, you know? Okay, buy the house, but what is the best deal? People don't know because I go through, you know, one or two house, oh God, we got experience. But with me, I helping a lot of people to buy the house. Yeah. You know, normally it's the first house. They are not like, you know, the first house, the first house they live, but later on, an investor. Now it's an investor. They bought a few houses to invest and got the passive income. Yes. You know, like when I came to the Cascot and my mind changed. A lot, of, a lot of people even in Cascot tell me, know me, why you go to Academy? Why you go to Cascot? And you did everything before, even my, with my client. And I said, no, everything is changed. Like, you know, even with BRRR. Yeah. Is where I love this surgery, and not everyone knows it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you, so you've been working. Uh, you've got many businesses, very, very successful. You've been working as an estate agent in London, yes. and you've been helping people, thousands of people, buy houses in London. Um, but then you came to the Property Investors Crash Course September seventeenth this year. Yes. So what happened since coming to the Crash Course and joining the Academy? What's happened since? You know, like um, I think it's the chain, uh, very chain my life. You know, even I got experience before, but um, I like the energy. <laughs> yes, uh, I like the way positive and I think even the Academy, everyone helping each other to like to support each other. The second thing is like uh, with the new soft like new saucer. You know, um, new sourcing, right? Deal sourcing, yeah. Yeah, new sourcing. Like, um, the thing is, before, I helping people also get the deal. We also get that. But now, the more, you know, law of attraction, I got more better deal come, you know. Every oh. day, everyone, everyone bring the deal came to me. And I, of course, we got the team. We got very good power team. You know, some house, normally the house could complete in six months, right? My power team will finish in two weeks. Right. Yeah, recently, last two weeks, Feel how done, and we got like very efficient one. It's a it's a way. So I I think like mm, the strategy different strategy, not focus on one. Before I do, but not focus on the formula and everyone. But now ex of course I know exactly what it got, what is that strategy, how it has, the formula is that, what is the correct formula. Yeah. So more clear for my investor, yes. and they love it. They love it. So you paid eleven nine nine five. £12,000 to join the Property Investors Academy, which is the full mentorship. And we have, you know, obviously yeah. parties. We were at the party last yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> um, mastermind, um, networking. Just a few months ago, a couple months ago, first question is, have you made your money back yet? Yes. On the, I think, first two weeks. In the first two weeks? <laughs> yes. So how did you actually do that? Do you know, like, um, we, I think actually I sell one deal I got the money back already. <laughs> yes. Wow. Like um, the way like got um, yeah with the new new sister. Yeah, of course with the new yeah. new sister. Yeah. So you 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 found a property and then you sold it to an investor yes. and you how much money did that make? Uh, they make or I make? You. Uh, fifteen thousand. Fifteen. I think 000. first um, I think as a member. Okay, first deal. Uh, after two days, I sell very small deal, two thousand. Right. 2000 flat, flat, flat. And after, and after that is a big deal. Actually, it's a two property, sell 15,000. Uh, and instantly, like, I think 11 of the month, it's 12,500. And do you know, like, do you know a lot of the attraction? People love it. When I saw even one, one customer, yeah. I saw them five house, and they said, okay, I want to buy fourth. You know? Yeah. And I said, are you, is it? 
Yeah, and yeah. They, they love it. Of course, you know, they know, they already got experience, they know like the box that they got, is it good or not? Yeah, yeah. and I, I always tell them, yeah. calculate it, do the due reason. Yeah, even I'm, I'm not trying to sell to anyone. I said, okay, go to, go to view, do the due reason, for, for good on formula, never about feeling. Never about feeling because they got you got investor live there, so not about feeling. So and sure. yeah, because the way with me, I'm always clear and transparent with them. So like with me, do you know the good deal is the deal I will buy it. And uh, yeah, not about like I want to sell. I try to sell my investor, and I don't want to to sell it. Yeah. And you've also bought a property, or you're going through the sales progression yeah. on a property yourself in London. Yes. So how much are you buying that one for? Oh, not London, Brighton. Oh, Brighton, sorry, Brighton. The, um, the Brighton one will be, the Brighton one, yeah, actually another one in London. The Brighton one, how much, I forgot already, 790. 790. Yes. And what is that? Are you going to do that as a buy, refurbish, refinance? Or is uh, that this one would be, I think, BRRSA. Right. Yes. So you're going to buy it for 795. Yes. How much money are you going to have to spend doing it up? I think around. 7,000, not much, because oh, wow. it's quite nice already. Yeah. What, so what are you going to have to do to the property? How are you going to add value? Right now, they got seven rooms. Yeah. I will, can make another, they got planned permission already. I can make another two rooms. Wow. So we'll be, yeah, so we'll be nine rooms. After that, yeah, with the um, Zephyrbis, and I will do essay because yeah. I got another essay there. The right house. Well, Brighton is very good for essay. And in Camp Town, Central Ed, you know, yes. I got 95% of occupying last year. Yeah. For, you know, actually right after lockdown. Is this going to be one that you can put refinance and pull your money out of? I think can. What do you think the end value would be? Uh, I do with survey or everything. I would think try 950. 950? Yeah. yeah Incredible. So that's over, that's like 140,000 pounds. Yes. Profit on that one deal. Yeah. You're a real big thinker. And another one in London, I discussed with Tony the other day. You could be around... I think the final one will be around 5.8 million, 5.8 million. But the thing is, you know, in central of London, I yeah. have to make another, another level one, make another level one. So yeah, yeah. add another story to it. Yeah, around 1.4 million. Yeah, I've seen that one. So yeah. how much profit will that make, that one? I think we make around uh, 1.4 million, so around 700, because yeah. I will partner ZV with someone else. Yeah. So half of that. Joint venture. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, the one is still, still going on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. takes time. Yeah, everything, it takes time with the property. Yeah. Well, I think as well, something really important that you've, you've heard me teach a lot is about um, quick pound, quick money, and then your passive, slower money, slow burning stuff. Yeah. And you've been making very quick money from deal selling. Yes. Wait, wait, how much money have you made in total since joining the academy in deal selling? Let me calculate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 15, uh, 12 with I. Okay, so around, I think let like around 30. 30,000. 30, 30, yeah, around so 30 to 40,000. 30 to 40,000, which is incredible yes. in just two months, you know. Yes. <laughs> but then at the same time, you've got this quick 30, 40,000 pounds money coming in, but then you've also got the slow stuff, which is the BRR. The serviced accommodation, which which you're buying, how much how much money do you think the serviced accommodation property in Brighton? How much profit are you expecting to make on that once you've bought it? Um, you mean this uh, the in profit? In uh, Brighton, yeah. You mean the you mean after the ZDV or? You, yeah, once you refinance it, yeah. and then you're renting it out as serviced accommodation. How much right money now, do you expect to make a month? Right now, with my current one, yeah, uh, we got seventy or twenty five thousand a month. And you've currently got that set up? Yeah. No, actually, I, you know, I got the previous one. I got one already. Yes. Yeah, so there is second one. So my previous one, I make around 25. So this one, I think, I, I estimate around 28. So you make 25,000 pounds per month? The E, I think, is revenue. So after the that, all the costs. Yes. So 25,000 pounds is your, your gross yeah, turnover. Yeah. And then what about the profit? I think, let's say, about 8,000. About 8,000. That's incredible though. On one house. And now you've just got another one. 
You've got your property in London going through. You are building an empire in I London. I try it uh, when, when we go to academy. So the way I do it, like with all the property, normally yeah, I haven't taken, um, I got mortgage, but I try to pay all the mortgage. Yeah, so I will take all the mortgage out and invest in something else. Right, refinance it. Yeah, refinance. Right, exactly. Yeah, because um, with the commercial on, I forgot on commercial in London, the building, so I separate the title. Yeah. I would buy the whole building and they got four titles. I separate the title one yeah. and I get the mortgage. What does your husband think about what you're doing? Um, actually, um, I'm not lucky like other academy member. My husband didn't like me do the business. <laughs> he doesn't like you doing the business? Yeah, uh, in total, not property. He want I to be housewife, stay right. at home. Um, yeah, stay at home, take care of my son. <laughs> and um, yeah, because... But you are a ridiculously successful, powerful businesswoman. Definitely not designed to be a housewife only. Yeah, and he, he, he want me, I be housewife and uh, take care, yes. But right. uh, with me uh, to be work, I work very hard, to be honest. Like, yeah, yeah two, three, four in the a.m., if I still got the job to do, answer the customer. And with me, I... With all the business I do, I, I'm really want to know from start to the end what is happened with my customer and everything. I want on way one the the way I promise on way have to be complete. Yeah. Mm. So with me, with my my client, you know, with my my client from Vietnam or a different country, they came to UK. I helping them to get the business, buy the house and everything, settle in the UK from start to the end. Not about only like only came to UK to study only. Yeah. So like um. I feel like uh, when they enjoy the like lifelong, you know. I, I follow from start to the end, everything. You do. Yeah, so it's you're, <laughs> you're a huge, massive asset to the academy, and it's, I'm so glad that you're part of the the academy. Thank you so much. What What's the experience been like with the training and the mentoring over the last over the last few months? I do like. If, uh, I hope like I. I hope like I can meet you earlier than that, you know? <laughs> I think like, yeah. But um, yeah, I think it right time, you may be right time, right person to meet up. Yeah. And um, yeah, my, uh, in uh, 2020, I, I looking forward to work with everyone and with you in the academy to build up my portfolio yeah. in property. And I willing to um, go like with all the deal and everything, like especially with development. Yes, it's so exciting. And what would you say, you know, you're a very big thinker and when you do deals, you make a lot of money on the deals. I mean, even deal sourcing, like we teach deal sourcing and I'll say, right, here's how you make £3,000 by selling a deal. You go and sell, sell a deal within two days of the training, bang. And then you go and sell a deal the week after for 15000 Like, Like you're such a Big thinker. Where does that come from? Were you born with that? Were you taught that? Were you raised that way? Do you know, like, I start my business when I'm eight years old. Yeah, my parents are busy, men and women, and they got, like, the business in, in my country. So, like, when even, like, I, st so I start the business quite, quite, quite young. And um, even, like, I, when I studied in Singapore, my bachelor degree in Singapore, so I also own money to learn, and I didn't get money from my parents. I do even I do rent to rent in Singapore. You know, I got 30 rent to rent in Singapore to earn that. So I think everything is action. Like, with my experience, you have to act instead of think. You have to do it. Mm. Yeah, think and do it. And when you do it, and focus, and deeply inside, go to the end. Not yeah. about in the middle. We got a lot, even with all the sector I do, I saw a lot of people start at the same time with me and go to the middle and they stop and they go move to a different direction. Right. And of course, it will be not to the way, not like that. Yeah, so I think to deeply go in that and of course you go. I right. think, and the law of attraction, the people you meet, you know, meet the more positive people, successful people. And like when you meet that, everything will come. Yeah. And like, always change parent, clear. And sometimes people don't like direct, but direct always the best, you know? Yeah, sometimes I say that, I, I, some people I say, oh no, not the thing. But when I direct, people slowly, they will love me more. Yeah, yeah. and try to say no as well, you know? So I'm not, I, I'm not, I always qualify my customer. Not all the people I serve. Yeah, yeah. because my, I don't have time for everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I think it's the way, practice. The more that, the more confident you got 
when you got more confident. Yeah, so do you know when I started, I always worry about my English. That I'm a foreigner. English is my, my, not my first language. So sometimes it's difficult to understand me. But slowly with my busy par partner and everyone, I think this is not the thing. Foreigner is not the thing. And um, not like we have to be uh, like um, born, in, born in UK and everything. You can be property investor, right? <laughs> you can be everywhere. And the chance is to everyone. And even I'm here, I'm not work only in UK. I still got due in Dubai, Vietnam, US, Australia. I work with everyone. And you know the good news, last two days, I got one New York investor in, uh, he referred me one customer. And um, they want to buy the penthouse. They move from New York to London, 50 million house, through investor, uh, through Zifaro. So with me, Zifaro is very, very important because the way, a lot of my customers, they know me 10 years and they buy the deal for me. Yeah. They not know me one or two months. They know the way I work, like the way they saw it, they check it. You know, so like uh, they sometimes it not come so quick. You know, they observe you and they, they check everything. So they, they defer. So I think my customer ninety five percent is deferral. Yeah, when they love you, they just defer to you. And when they refer, the people don't care. People will trust you. Yeah. Yes, and will maintain it. <laughs> how, how do you manage the time to? to I mean, when you just slip out casually. And I've got 30 rent to rents in Singapore. That's huge. Do you know this time I'm quite young, do you know, like 18 years old, just want to earn money. And, you know, just earn the money, cover my rent, my student, student fee. But of course now I'm not doing rent to rent because I don't have time for that. Mm. Yeah, do you know, like I should focus on my business and everything. Do you still have those rent to rents in Singapore? No. Oh, so that was what you did to get started? Yeah, when I started. So do you know, like, like the, the way your own way costed, yeah. own way have to something to start it. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, so like to get cash flow. Right. Yeah. So I don't have, um, I don't have the support from the start. So I have to start. I said like I start with zero. Yeah. So of course when I start with zero, everyone can start with zero. Not about with property. Not about you have to get money to start with. But work hard and everything you can get it. So you used rent to get into property. You used rent to rents. Yes. You did it in Singapore. Got 30 rent to rents, which made you financially free. And I do, uh, and I, I, when I go to Singapore, UK, yeah, I give all to my partner and my friend. I right. got zero. And then you came to UK, but you had that experience. I got experience. I do two rent to rent. When the first, when I start my uni, just to get some money to start it. Yes. But later on, I also stop because I want to focus on my study. Yeah. Yes, because the time I want to be first in my master. And um, yes, so I got it. Well done, <laughs> yeah. well done. And I just want to focus on study. And my husband said, okay, study is study, focus on one thing. So I finished my master and I thought, now the time to start. Yeah, so I, I start with other business to earn money. After I got money, I put in property. What did you study in, in university? MSc in entrepreneurship, like business. Okay. Yeah. And what... Quite a new course, you know? Yeah. Only eight people in my class. Interesting. And how was that? It good, yeah. Good. All my lecture like from experience, uh, like not like the teaching in theory and everything and real practice, and they test me. Yeah, so it... so you so you you get a master's in studying entrepreneurship at university. Yes. You then build a, a, a large companies, all these companies across the world, and then you join my academy. You know, I sell the franchise. My franchise now in India, yeah. in Philippines. Thailand, Vietnam, Vietnam, they got 50, I think 52 province. I already sell 10 province. So my target will send spread Vietnam with my franchise. Yeah. Zero one two global. <laughs> well, I don't know how you have the time. It's, it's, it's marvelous just hearing. What was it that made you enroll into the academy? Why did you do that? When I first, when I go to crash course, I know the way I know is it hard. I know is the way, um, I know is it for me. Yes. And the way, with me, I, I think it's like, I have to get it on. You know, so I told you the story when you start to say like, go to New Sasa. I said, I want to buy the whole one. <laughs> I want to buy the complete one. I didn't know the name of Academy, is it tough? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but, um, but I, 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 yeah, so I said, I want to get in. Yes, yeah. because I like, um, 
because the, I think the character we got the same a bit same character the yeah. one the dominant we want to I can it do it yeah. so I think it's a way it will go we can go together and yeah. yeah what's the training been like and the mentoring what's it been like yeah I think I got the support direct from uh, Sue from Tony and like with you as well so I think it's quite easy instead of sometimes I need the you know like I'm the I'm the woman sometimes I I got some curious something I'm not so sure so I think it's a place I need the advice yeah. and everyone is always there with me yeah, yeah and um, with Academy we are together all the friends yeah I make a lot of friends and support together not think about investor no more but I think that if friend you know long-term friend and family as we can say all the difficult thing yeah doing lie I think up and down not always go up Right, but I think it's a play we can say we can trust each other. Do you know when I do the business, I always ask, "Are you in the academy?" So I think easier to do the business with. Yeah. Yeah, because because I think the same mindset, the vision, we own the same thing inside. If we work in the same community, it will be easier than someone we didn't know. Yeah. Because at least we know got you there. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, so people will follow the way. Even with new saucer, not everyone understand about how to do buy the deal. Like we always think, you have to sell my house first, you sell first before I pay you the money. But the way in the is different. If they are in the academy, I would say go study to you and they know how the process to look like. Yeah. You know, with me, selling also the channel, the chaining. Yeah. I have to teach my customer how to buy the deal. Because they always said, okay, tell me the house, I like it, I buy it and I pay. But it's different. You give me the demand what you want how much mark profit you want, where the location you want, how much money you got. I find the deal for them. But this is the money. They have to pay first. After that, they pay. And of course, 100% my team will work for them. And find the bad deal, find the deal until they're happy with that. Yeah. yeah. But before, not, not, the, not the turnaround, not the estate agent way. Of course, I got estate agent and wealth the, with the portfolio as well. But I can sell them around. It's a different way. Yeah, yesterday when I talked with uh, one of in uh, our academy in Cambridge, I thought like when we talk with the, my, I think like when you want the vendor give you the how to rent to rent. Never think about the vendor give you the chance. We give the vendor the chance. If you now you are the invest, uh, you the vendor, I said, I, Samuel, I take this house, I guarantee you the rent. You don't need to worry. Whatever the rent you want, I give you. Yeah. You don't have the void period. I take care of it. Right. I give a professional come there. The how I will call nicely. Whenever you come to, you want to come, you can come. Yeah. You can check. You got money. I got my business. Of course, I'm not living there because I got a lot of house. I'm not live to see how I'm not live there. And all the all the customer, all my vendor, they're happy to give it. And after that, I do the due listen. I say it was it or not. Had to be fair. Yeah. Everyone work for free. And my vendor said, okay, I'm upset the offer. This is the key. And I start to helping them. Yeah. So I think this is the way I'm helping the vendor. Exactly. Not about the vendor helping us. It's the right. both sides win-win. Right. So I think like even the vendor said, oh, thank you. Because, yeah. you know, otherwise, they give to how even for some student yes. or someone else. They don't know next month they got money to pay or not. Mm. Even, you know, they check all, with all the reference, even I'm Asian. I check with all the ref and everything. But even next month, they, they got the salary there, but not guaranteed they can pay the rent next month. Mm. Even they keep the house nicely or not. But we're there to manage it and everything. Yeah. yeah. So do you do rent to rent in London? Um, I, I'm not, I think I tried. Actually, like, I already did two when in 2011 I came to UK. Right. After that, I'm not doing because my busy is quite busy. Yes. So recently when I saw the cost, um, rent, uh, like I think recently with rent to rent recently yeah. in November, is it December, yeah, right? Yeah. In December, but I try myself. I want to challenge myself, but I want to challenge. I want to apply whatever you teach me. Yeah. The first one, the customer say no. You know, the whole day I try, it hard. People say no. Second day I change a bit, and I know who the person say yes. I came to meet them, and you know, I got one yes from one vendor. After that second, third, all of them happy with me. Oh, wow. But I'm, I'm not doing any of them. I sell it. 
Okay, so you secure them, but then you sell it. Yeah, I'm not. I give to my uh, some of my friends, and right. I thought it's the way to do it because um, I don't have time. Because oh, yeah, it. so I think, but I I'm happy. I feel I. I, I feel like I complete the challenge. Yes. I complete it. I so you did it just for the learning experience. Yeah, I want to learn, but I know it's hard on the first. You know, on the yeah. first day, even I call Tony. I said, Tony, I'm so upset. Everyone say no to me, and do you know like even I said like I message them. Is the company net? No. Is the the corporate net? No. Um, is it um uh is it my from my staff live there? No. Okay, so I have to be live there. Another day I change a bit technique. I talk to them, but I think like depend. Own way come to talk to them. I think your confidence though yes. helps. The fact that you go in with business acumen. Yeah. Couple of questions for you then. So quick question, quick answer. Number one, yes. best country in the world to invest. What do you think? UK. Go. Do you reckon? <laughs> All right. Next question. Best city to invest in the UK. Go. London. Oh, <laughs> London. Interesting. Okay. Is the market in London? Do you think over the next five years going to boom or going to crash in London? Um, actually, like with me, my experience it is the best, yeah. but depend on the situation. Because now I try to do something outside London. Because with us, the for, like the formula always follow the London. Yes. Because sometimes follow the formula by 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 no rent height. Yeah. I will. So I discover some place yeah. to to put my uh, portfolio in. Yeah. So actually, I said London because. Most of my property in London. So is London going to go up or is it going to go down? What do you think? I think we go up, but not much. Okay. Not but the good thing about what you're doing is you're buying in London, but you're pushing the value up. Yes. You're forcing the value up. Yes. So even if it doesn't boom, you're going to make it boom because you create your own economy. Yes. So, and what you've done all through, you know, the pandemic and lockdowns, you've been building and you've been growing is ridiculously impressive. What would be your advice to somebody thinking about coming to a property investor's crash course? What would you say? I think go for it. I always I tell my friend and uh, my my uh, my partner go for it. When you go in, the different, you know, the change is really different. And when you go to it, act on it, yeah. do it instead of think. No thing, no time for think. Yeah. And of course, with one power in crossword, why not? <laughs> it not cost you anything, right? Yeah, and the academy obviously is a big investment. So the academy, you know, we, we interview people and we have a, we have a, a short list process. Um, what would you say to somebody that was maybe thinking about going to the academy, that had the money, that had the, the capacity to do it, that really wanted to go and pursue property? What would you say to somebody wanting to do the academy? I think with 10,000, like 12,000, you can, you know, you can, in, it's difficult to, I think can do few rent to rent or buy some sauce, but law list, you always the first, always got the question, in, in, the, first, the best invest, you invest for yourself, mm. right? So not the second one is the property. Yeah. Yes, so I think if they got it, go for it, because when you go it, not about the training, not about the course, of course you are brilliant already, but second thing, a community together, yeah. and we, we got, we, we trust the person in there, and we can go for it. Yeah, and I think like instead of pay, even me, I uh, buy few more deal or something before. I have to learn, you know. I have people buy one thousand house. I got a lot of mistake in their wealth, you know, even more myself. But I think when you pay, when you learn, you don't make the mistake. Even like you know, I tell all my my investor what my mistake is that. And of course, never, never, like, never go for the mistake again. So I think when they go with academy, everyone says the story, experience, and they don't, they may, maybe never met the mistake before I met, yeah. you know? Yeah, so I think it's a um, go for it. <laughs> Amazing. And final question what is your plan in England through property over the next two years? What are you hoping to achieve? Over the next two years, I think um, I will focus for a few BR. Second thing is development. Yes, development. yeah, this is the one I focused on. Really excited. I just want to say congratulations on your success. Thank you for being part of the Academy. Thank you for being a friend and, and, and a student of mine, but also a friend. And I'm really excited about helping you go to a whole new level. And uh, thanks for sharing your story. Thank you so much for today. Thank you very much.
So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope you're inspired. If you are, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, drop a comment. And if you want to come to the Property Investors Crash Course or do further training, I will leave a link in the description with free tickets, limited spaces. So get booked on right now, and I'll see you guys next time. God bless.